Lots of good news at the Travel Goods Association show at Mandalay Bay Convention Center. The show itself is larger than ever in recent years with 260 exhibitors and the purchase of travel goods themselves is at pre-recession levels. Let's take a look. Of course, key to any travel is a luggage tag, one that you can see, one that, that does not <laughs> destruct, and one that's all yours. And this is a new luggage tag. It's made of acrylic. It can be engraved, as you see here, with your name and address. It would be $11.99. Uh, to buy one, but most people buy three at a time, and that, unless they move, that's the last luggage tag they will need. I stopped at the Travel Safe exhibit because of this guy with all the muscles, but come to find out the Travel Safe shirt is pretty interesting. Look at all the pockets. And this is so that if you're afraid of uh, having a purse or a man purse that's stolen, you can put your credit cards in here. And even a passport fits over here. Um, an, a shirt like this would be retail about $69. And right now, it's available at www.travelsafeproducts.com. Lovely guy. <laughs> Another first-time exhibitor at this show is Max Toy USA, and they have adorable bags, 3D bags, for youngsters to pull. I've seen lots of youngsters pulling their own suitcases in the airports, but these are 3D, and they come with a little, tiny little backpack that can be used. There's a water bottle in there and a place for snacks. Look at, aren't these adorable? They are designed in the USA, made in Brazil. They are already for sale in South America. And this is their US debut. They will sell in the US for $99.95 and up. Stopped at this exhibit because I wasn't sure what this was. The nice lady here explained that this is a very efficient way to carry everything from hairspray, lotion, uh, body mist, band-aids, tweezers, toothbrush, toothpaste in this little pack. And it may come filled with uh, all, all the things filled in or you can fill them yourself. You can see all the components here. It would sell for $40 on the website, which is www.thepackstore.com. Well, we've all heard the expression wingman, and I wasn't quite sure what this was. And this gentleman is going to explain, indeed, you can ride to work on your bicycle, carry this bag, which has been um, was launched about two years ago in Australia. Show us how it works. Sure, absolutely. Uh, first off, you have this front pocket, which you can store any accessories, cell phone, business cards, pens, and then there's a padded area for a tablet. Okay. And as you unclip these buckles here, the only rules are no makers or pregnant women. It unrolls. Those are still There's a two-bag system. So this this is a, a waterproof tarp material right here. In other countries, and you put this off. This is a perfect gym utility bag for uh, workout clothes, uh, towel, toiletries. You can actually put shoes in here, and it keeps everything all of those clothes separate, especially after you're you're finished working out. And this is a regular suit bag. Uh, suit. This this is made of 100% uh, nylon. Okay. So this, this is the actual suit portion. If you open this up, I tell them the UFC. It's a foldable hanger that comes in here. And you can put a uh, shirt, suit, uh, trousers, and uh, blouse, anything you need in here. And once it's in there, just lay it flat. Huh. And then once you put that bag back in there, it rolls up versus folding. 
and as you can see on the side, there's yes, a yes, support there's system in here, so it doesn't crush. So it virtually eliminates wrinkles. I'll be done. Retail, how much would something like this cost? Uh, we're looking at $199.95. I see. Well, and you can carry it on your shoulder or on your back? Exactly. So, well, once only you on the shoulders, <clears throat> Put this on. on. Just like that. And then this strap clips on here. So, and you know, off. Cycling to work or walking, it's going to stay stuck. Great. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. I love this. Thank you. A parent company has come up with this product, which has been on the market in the UK for a couple of years. This is a traveling booster seat which when all rolled up is easy to carry and weighs about as much as four bananas, I'm told. Uh, this booster seat could be used if you're going to restaurants, um, even if you're at grandma's house and there is no high chair. Uh, the cost is about, on this one, $45. And the lady that's here, Vanessa, is a parent and decided to become the U.S. distributor because she loved the product. I heard the gentleman here saying, this is the next thing <laughs> in travel, and I said, what do you mean? Good morning, Joe. So, Good morning. How are you doing? Here he was showing up the old way to get some sleep on an airplane. So, it's very innovative. We're brand new. Mr. Martin is looking for retailers. And then, so what he does uh, well, we'll really watch this fella. This, uh, the same thing that that's really awesome. it's, it's replacing more. this. The way it works is that... And instead, it's really compact, right? Small pouch, you can fit it in any suitcase or anything. Put it around your head, and it stabilizes your head. So when you're traveling, you don't move around. It really keeps There's anyway. two cushioned uh, so places in the back. Eye mask. So when you're ready to go snooze, put it on. <laughs> and then you have an eye mask. How much retail? How much? Very good job. I was surprised. I normally don't have a headlight. You saw that one over there. <laughs> How much retail? It retails for $29. I see. I stopped by the Travelon booth because I actually uh, know the company because of the products on QVC. But I'm told all these products are not on QVC. This is the regular yes, line of products. Yes. There are some 400 of them. Travelon is an Illinois company, and the owner of the company is here, and I understand he was injured in a ski accident five years ago, but that is not holding him back. He is still doing everything able-bodied people do, and is apparently an inspiration for the company. But anyway, among the products they have are RFID blocking products. I'm told there are folks with certain equipment that can walk by my purse and figure out uh, everything about my credit cards. And this is a lockdown pouch. A knife cannot go through it and you can lock it and no one else can get a hold of that pouch. So a lot of products here to make travel safer and convenient. The gentleman here was so charming I had to stop. This is the UBU booth and these coats are water resistant, reversible, and just gorgeous. And gorgeous, yes, they like could be. Opera coats, opera coats uh, rain coats, and they would sell, what's a ballpark price, retail? About 180 uh, $190 retail and about 160 for the short, short version. Okay, all right. They are attractive, and so if you're taking a trip and need a versatile jacket, UBU has them. These are travel buddies. <laughs> yeah. Travel buddies and travel cool. And travel cool. With a K. With a K. <laughs> and these, uh, this is part of a family company, originally from England, now in Maryland. And, for example, these two cases together would sell for about $90, but they can be purchased separately. And here's some more. Um, travel can be colorful. This large booth is the Hayes Luggage Booth. Hayes is a Florida company known for hard side designer luggage 
And you can see most of what they have on display is hard-sided luggage, but they do have some fabric pieces as well. Well, I stopped by this booth. It is the Lug Lock Luggage Locator booth, and a gentleman came up and explained to me that what one does is buy the locator for $49 US, place it in the luggage, and if your luggage is lost, let's say it goes to Miami instead of Las Vegas, the luggage locator will tell you it is in Miami, and the company here will work with the folks in Miami to get your luggage shipped back to you. The $49 includes the device and also three months service. So if you're making a big trip, or a couple of big trips within a three month period, um, the service will be included. Otherwise, you quit paying and the next time you take a trip, you re-up for the service. The gentleman who owns this company said this is the only service of its kind and since I had never heard of it before, we stopped by. This is Lug Lock. London Fog is here with umbrellas and raincoats and it looks like some kind of glasses on the table unless one lady left three pair there and more umbrellas. Not exactly needed in Las Vegas. Talking to the gentleman there is Deborah Vinci, and she is the inventor of the Cool It Caddy. She lives in Arizona, and the heat there has at times melted her makeup. And she came up with these little purses that you put in the freezer, and they have um, some material that, that freezes and keeps your makeup or your medications, or what does the sign say? Uh, your lip luster, sunscreen, snacks, medication, and makeup chilled, even in the hot of, hottest of places. Prices range from $19.95 up to $30 something, I think she said. Anyway, there are nice, handy little purses that keep things cool. Want a suitcase that stands out? This is Long Lat Ink, and these are neon colors. The Alexander Califano Company is a Las Vegas family-owned company and one of the things that they do extremely well is make these globes. I believe they're, what, jewel, uh, made out of gemstones. gemstones, that, gemstones. And I've seen them in a number of the casino stores. I didn't realize that they came from a Las Vegas company and they also make jewelry over here and handbags so they didn't have to travel far to come to the travel goods show Alexander Califano want to check your email at the travel goods show we have a charge and chat station Skojo is the company the products are reading glasses and the lady manning this booth explained that reading glasses are fundamental to almost every activity you can imagine and therefore they are at lots of trade shows including this one and she mentioned that even at the Museum of Modern Art um, hundreds maybe thousands of these reading glasses are sold every month because folks forget their glasses or they like the designs of Skojo. The Arch Tech Inc. booth had a sign that said innovation in dentistry and I wondered what in the world this was and I'm told that this is toothpaste in a tablet. There are 60 of them in a container so that's enough for what a month? Twice a day. <laughs> And um, instead of worrying about those tiny little um, toothpaste tubes that seem to be uh, run out real quick, you can do a toothpaste tablet bottle and it will cost about $5. Amelia Earhart is here. This is Leisure Luggage. And they actually had a model who was dressed as Amelia and they have lots of attractive looking luggage. There are a number of luggage companies here, but 
only one that says Amelia Earhart. Well, I found her. This is model Amanda Jordan, dressed as Amelia Earhart, and she is from Las Vegas. Go Travel has an interesting up-in-the-air display of flat luggage, luggage that stores flat and turns into a packed bag. I had to have a demonstration of airbag, the solution to a heavy backpack, and I didn't understand it till I actually tried it on. But the bottom of this bag has a, a space for air, and when air is in the bag, the bag sort of sits on the top of your rear end and doesn't pull down from your back. And I could feel the difference, quite a difference. And so it makes the backpack feel much lighter than it would otherwise. And the gentleman here said they're in many major re retailers. Prices go from about $60 to $100. Gotta love those polar bears and uh, penguins. And they are on luggage that has been licensed by National Geographic. I just passed one booth in which the company said it was in Antwerp, Belgium, and this one, Le Palt, says Le Palt, Paris. Sam Sinite is here, and they are talking about the wheels on their luggage, which can turn a corner, and I tried them, and they do. Vista International had one of the few displays I've seen that feature canes. Lots of fancy canes, some with brass handles, and some just plain and colorful. This is called Art Inspired Luggage. Here is the painting, and here is the luggage. I'm in the Olympia booth, and this particular, this particular piece of luggage is handmade and will be given away in a raffle, so it is not for sale. But as you can see, it has jewels on the outside. It's a piece of art in itself. Time to leave the travel show. We've seen everything from wallets to large suitcases and materials from leather to plastic to fabric. We've seen polka dots. We've seen stripes. We've seen colorful characters for children and adults, and it's been lots of fun.